Query folding in Power Query helps you to optimize your Microsoft Power Query reports and dashboards. Certain times query folding works, on the other hand, it doesn't work. So, how to determine whether your query folding is working or not working? Well, in this video, I'm going to let you know how to determine that. And not only that, I'm also going to let you know how to fix it. So, if you would like to know more, please stay tuned with me till the end of this video, and I'm going to let you know everything about it. Hi there, welcome to BI Consulting Pro. My name is Ajay Kumar and I create all the contents on Microsoft Power BI and Microsoft Azure. So if you are over here for the very first time, please don't forget to subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon. Now, without wasting any more time, let's get started. Recently on LinkedIn, on BI Consulting Pro page, we have published one article that is query folding in Power Query. In this page, I have explained everything about query folding in Power Query with its pros and cons, limitations, etc. And not only that, I have also explained what are the different indicators in Power Query folding and how you can utilize them. So everything is already over there and you can come on this article. I'm going to provide a link in the description section and please don't forget to read this article. It would take hardly 6 to 10 minutes. This article is going to help you to understand why query folding is so important whenever you are going to work on Power BI or Power Query. All right. After that, what we are going to do, we are going to navigate to Power BI service where I'm going to create one data flow and there I'm going to let you know how you can use query plan, which is a preview feature. So let's go over there. Right now, I'm on my Power BI service portal. Here, I'm going to go to one of my workspace, which is my development workspace. Here, I'm going to create one data flow. So creating a data flow is quite easy. Just come on to your workspace. There you will find this new button and click on this data flow button. Once you click over here, it will take some time and then you can define your new tables. Over here, we are trying to get the data from our on-premise SQL server and then we are going to use a data gateway as well to get the data. So let's click on this blank query. Once you are over here, you have to paste your query. You can either directly get the data after selecting the tables from your SQL server database or you can paste it a query so i'm going to paste my query over here you can see that this is my own premise sql server address then this is my database name which is adventureworks 2019 after that i have to select my data gateway as well which is my demo data gateway that i have selected please do remember that you need a data gateway to connect the data from your on premise sql server or on your desktop files in any other case also, I would always prefer to use the data gateway rather than just directly connecting all there. All right, now just click on this next button and it will take some time to pop up and here I have to authenticate myself again. So configure and connect. Hopefully everything is gonna be all right over here and here you can see that your data is appearing over here. Now, what we have to do, we have to check the query plan. Now over here on your right hand side, you can see the different query indicators are over here. At the last step, you can find that this is not folding. That means query is not folding. However, before that it is getting fold and how to check it. The another way to check whether your query folding is appearing or not, you can right click on this and you can view the native query, which is over here. So if I'm going to come over here, you can just right click on this view database query. And over here, you can find this query. That means your query folding is working till here. But what happens if I click on the last step, which is saying that there is no query folding. You can clearly see this indicator. So let me again right click over here. And here you, you can see that view data source query option is disabled. It is not highlighted. That means your query folding is not working. So what to do in this case? Well, as I mentioned in the beginning of this video that we are going to discuss about the query plan over here. So right click on this. Please do remember that query plan is a very powerful tool where you can see how to fold your query or how to check whether your query is getting folded or not. Over here, it's getting in three different process. First, it's saying that it is the SQL.database, which is your source from where we are getting the data. Then there are certain details as well. So you can see your query over here. That means value.native query and SQL.database. These both are working fine in case of query folding. However, there are certain fields like tables.last n, or there can be some other transformations that are not going to support the query folding. For that, you can check the Microsoft documentation that what is going to 
spot over there and what is not going to spot over here. And in this case, we know that we are checking the bottom five rows. And bottom is the kind of uh, operator that is not spotted in SQL. That's why the query folding is not going to work over here. So now the question comes, how can we make that, that the query folding should work? First of all, guys, you should remember that query folding is a process which is going to push all the transformations towards the data source side. That means, for example, in this case, if we want to get the bottom five rows, then we have to plan our query like that, that all the transformations are going to happen at the database side. In this case, I'm going to show you how we can make it. This table dot last n, or basically the bottom five rows that we are going to trying to find, this is happening at the Power BI service side, which it should not happen. That's the meaning of query folding. So query folding is basically going to translate your M query language to SQL at the database side. And then when retrieving the data back over here, then again, it's going to transform back from SQL to M code language. Now, let's see what we can do. So rather than that, what I can do, I come over here and I'm going to do one thing. First, I'm going to remove this because I don't need this bottom one. So remove this one. And now I'm going to sort it descending in the descending order. So for that, I'm going to say, okay, sort it in the descending. We know that in SQL language, we have group by, we have order by, and we can also ascending and descending. And there's another operator that is top so that we can do that. Since we needed the bottom five rows, and now what I can do, you can see that. Now, since it has been descending order, then I can select the top five rows from there. So you can see that remove rows or keep rows. So we say, okay, go to the keep rows and I just need the top rows only. Keep top rows, top five rows and click okay. Now let's see whether the query has been followed or not. So right click on this and now you can see that view data source query is appearing and it's selecting the top five rows. And here you can also see that the order by is descending order by sales order ID. So this is a way that you can utilize query plan to check whether your query is getting folded or not. And if it's not getting fold, then where it is not getting fold and how you can do that, it's totally up to you. You can check your requirements and according to the requirements, you can see how you can perform the same operation that you are doing at the Power Query or Power Service side in the SQL on the database side. And we know that database is going to use the SQL language only. So we should know that which function or the operator we have to use inside our data source query. I hope you liked today's video. If you have any question and concern, please don't forget to let us know. And also, if you are over here for the very first time, please don't forget to subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon. See you in the next video.